God bless you, Susan Waldrop, February 3rd, 2016. The Holy Spirit put upon me today to share with you a few words that he gave me years ago when I was having a conversation with him and I would journal things and write them down. So I want to share this with you today. And first off, we want to lift up this day before you, Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus that you are with us wherever we go. You put your words in our mouth, which is what we need. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are always with us and you are always keeping us on the perfect road that you want us to be on because we humble ourselves and we thank you for your blessed presence in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, this caught my attention and I thought it would bless you because it was a word of encouragement that the Lord gave me in April 7, 2004 called time. I rose again and asked, what about time, Father? Your word says, as a woman is about to give birth, so shall the signs in the heavens and on the earth begin to double. Talk to me about that, please. The earth is moving into a new dispensation of time as you know it. Fulfillment of things is about to happen. Fulfillment of many things, the good and the bad. My people that have walked in my ways and listened to me are about to reap the deeds they have been sowing. They have been sowing life and they are about to reap life. Life not just as they know it, but life as I know it. They have been praying constantly for years for specific things to happen, for salvation in the lives of others to happen, and they shall see it because they have stood in the gap for them. Those that have been broken and humbled by life's stains shall, now, shall be now glorified and magnified by me. For this is the season, this is the time it shall begin to happen. For time is coming to a close and all things shall reach their fulfillment. But there are those as well that have not hearken to my voice, my desires, my will in their lives, but have sown selfishness, greed, discord, and intentional grief unto the meek, the lonely, the broken, and to them great disaster shall now meet them at their door, and they will not be able to keep it shut for their fulfillment shall also come to them. They have walked in the ways they themselves have chosen, and the darkness they have walked in shall now bring judgment. They shall look to me and say, But Father, we did this in your name. We did this in your name. And I shall not hear them, for there is no truth in them. What can we do? What can I do, Father? What can I do? Pray, pray that their hearts turn back to their first love. Pray that those that never knew me now humble themselves and find me. For I am as the wind, I am always there. My eyes never sleep, but always watch. My ears always listening, and my spirit always pre uh, penetrating to the very marrow of their bones to see the intent of their heart, the intent of their words that they are mine. 
There is but a window of time left, and then, as I shut the door of the ark, so shall I shut the door of opportunity for them, and there shall be no more. Pray they find me in time, for I am always here waiting. My love is here available. Tell them their breath is but a vapor, but the decisions they make now will last eternity. And I will not desire that any perish. Tell them I care. For the end of the age is near even at the door, and I stand at the door of their hearts with keys to life and death in my hand. Tell them, choose wisely, for once the key is in their hands, I can look no more upon them unless they choose life, for I cannot compromise my laws. I cannot make an exception for even one, for sin is sin and deserving of judgment. Only the blood of the Lamb, the mark of Him in them, will save them then, for that is all I will see or not see. I asked, what about the church, Father, the people in it, the pastors, what will happen to the church as we know it? There is coming a time of great struggle within and out of my church, for my true believers will not be able to sit under a teaching of compromise. My true church will not be able to sit under a social club or anything that resembles the world for the times that are coming upon the face of the earth will be so radical. My people will have eyes to see and ears to hear and shall know the difference of the genuine and the artificial. They shall not be filled and they shall not be filled and they, sh they shall not be fooled, I believe is what I was meaning to write there. They shall not be, they shall not be filled and they shall rise up and be a great voice for me and say, enough is enough. We will walk out the doors if you will not feed us truth, for truth is what this house should stand for and nothing else, nothing less. My people shall begin to pray, and you shall see great leaders that appeared to be mine, but never were mine, fall before the meek, the broken, the nobodies, as they would seem to the world, but the great somebodies to me. And this shall be a sign of who my true believers really are. I shall raise up the meek, the lowly, the hurting, the undesirable, for I desire them, and I delight in them, and I shall use them greatly in this last hour, for surely it is their faithful prayers that have come before me daily, that I have collected in my lap and counted each one and keep each one and now shall answer each one, for now is the time even they shall reap what they have sown, and I am well pleased in them, for they are the faithful. And the ones that have appeared as giants in the land shall fall, and great shall be their fall, and it shall not please me, and I shall turn away, and it shall sadden me, for they had every opportunity. They were given all the resources they could ever ask for, but the one thing they should have asked for they never did, me. They paraded in their arena 
while I watched them crumble inside. Yet there have been great ones I have been very pleased with, and they have also stood in the same arenas, except they have humbled themselves, and they have lowered themselves and gave me the stage, and they shall now reap as well, and I shall take them to new heights, show them new things, the width and the depth of my desires, my plans, and my fulfillment that will happen in their lives. I shall visit them in visitations of the day, visitations of the night, and call them out, call them away, to show them great and mighty things. For this day, this hour, this manifestation of the completion of time, as they know it, they shall reap as well. And I began, and as I began to walk away, I saw the coming glory on the stage and off the stage, the coming glory of the church in them right before he comes for us. I saw preachers glowing, angels, excuse me, I saw preachers glowing, angels all over the stage, people being healed, everyone in the arena, and the ever-present voice of the angels singing with the saints of God, glorious beyond words, all praising God, miracles and signs and wonders happening right then before everyone's eyes. And he said, this is the good part, Yes, my glory is about to fall. No more shall they ask me for it, for they shall have it. Every time they speak my name, my glory shall not be held back for the true believer. And whatsoever they ask, they shall receive, for they will be in a time of no doubt. They shall only be with me and I shall perform it, because it shall please me to do it, and great shall be my outpour, for the cry is great for it to happen. And now I shall give it, as even I have been wanting to give it, and they have been wanting it, but behold, the time was not then, but it is now, and now I shall cover them with it. They shall feel what my love feels like, for surely my love is alive. It is real, and not just a word or emotion, but life, and they have desired it, and now they shall truly experience it. It shall overwhelm them to the degree they shall forget who they are, where they are, why they are. They shall only be in my presence of it, and whoever they touch shall feel it instantly, and fall, and weep, and rejoice, for great shall be the last signs and miracles before my entrance. Be behold, it is beginning. It is beginning. And this, these are the words the Lord gave me. This is quite a lengthy reading I realized back in April 7, 2004. You see, God knows exactly what he's doing. We are about to enter a great awakening of many types. We are about to experience the awakening of not only those that are away from Christ, that find Christ, but they are also, they, we are also at the time when we are going to see 
the reaping of what every one has sown, whatsoever they have sown, everything that is inside a person at this point of time, now is going to magnify to the outside of them. You are going to see the true believers of the gospel, the true believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, the true believers that are unafraid, unashamed, and will not look back, but hold on to and express with their mouth the blessed promise of hope, of salvation, which is only found at the cross with Jesus. Arise. You shall see mighty exploits happen. You shall see greater days than it was in the days of Paul. You shall see instant healings everywhere. You shall see a group of believers together. And one person walks in that doesn't even know what's going on and they will be touched. They will be healed. You are going to begin to see now the great outpouring. As persecution falls, great darkness falls, so also shall the light of the Holy Spirit shine greatly, greatly, greatly through his true believers. We thank you, Lord. We lift you up as I feel you pulsating this entire time out of my palm of my hands. I know it is you. I know your presence. I know you, Father. And we thank you and we humble ourselves and we give you all the glory for we look not upon ourselves, but we look unto thee and we thank you that you are meeting us. You are great Reading us, you are with us wheresoever we go, and we walk in your presence, we breathe in your presence, we see with your eyes, we smell with your nose, we smell you and you smell us, and the world will not understand in some situations, and in others, yet even so those that know you not shall fall at their knees and say, what is this? And we will be able to speak it to them. This is that that was spoken of by the prophet. In that day, the Lord will shine and behold his people. And we shall do great exploits for his name's sake. For this is the final hour before the catching away this is the final hour before the ark is shut. This is the final hour for the last ones are now about to come home and come in. We thank you, Lord. We ask you now. I, I don't even have to ask you, Lord. I know you're healing people. The Lord is doing such a mighty work right now. God is doing it by his spirit. It is not by might. It is not by power. It is by his Holy Spirit. Everything good happens. Everything that is needed to happen, happens. For it is all of him and none of us. All of him and none of us. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We praise you. We know you are mighty. You are the one we look up to. You are the one we dearly love. You are the one that receives all the glory. As you heal everyone hearing this message, everyone watching, they are touched by you. We thank you, Lord. As you send your spirit out across the airways, you take back the airways. We thank you, Lord. As we know you bless us, anoint us, and appoint us as we go about this day. Such a strong presence. My hands are literally vibrating, both of them. Receive whatever you need. He's giving it now. 
the pools of Bethesda are stirring now. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you bless our weekend as we now move into the days we set aside, Father, to be by thee, to listen, to see your way, to hear what you have to tell us. Thank you, Lord. Bless everyone now, Father, that has seated into this ministry. Let it return a thousandfold. Every prayer request that has came in, Father, we thank you that you answer them all now. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. It's so very hard to take my hands down because the Lord is holding them up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be such a strong presence. Such a strong presence. God bless you with your days, your weekends. Continue to send me your prayer requests, your praise reports, so we lift them up. Thank you for your faithful giving. We love you, Lord. We know you are with us, you are protecting us, and you are guiding us. I love you. Have a blessed, anointed, appointed weekend with the Lord.